how to use Midjourney image to video generator. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys everything you need to know about Midjourney's image to video generator, how you can utilize its power and what are the types of videos can that you can create. So let's get started. And these are some examples of images that have been converted into videos. You guys can see that you can use any type of image, whether it is a real image or even if you are using AI to create the image, you are then able to convert that into a video. So first person view of a man riding a horse through a vast valley filled with blooming wildflowers in every color, the sky is gold and so on and so forth. Now you can provide as detailed of a prompt as you want and Midjourney has several different controls that can help you in choosing the aesthetic of your video. So starting off, I have logged on to my account and keep in mind that Midjourney as of making this video is no longer available for free. So you do have to upgrade to a standard plan to get started with video creation on Midjourney. Now, once you do that, you can click on create on the left. And then these are some examples of uh, image to videos that I've done. This was one of the images that I used, and these were the four videos that were created from that particular image. And they're, they're all just four different variations of pretty much the same video. And this was probably one of the best results that it created, where it looks really realistic and there are no glitches. You know, there, everything runs very smoothly in this. So to get started with creating our own video with a image, simply click on the add image section on the top and then you're going to click on starting frame Then click on choose file or drop here. And from here, you're going to choose your file. Now I'm going to be using one of these images, let's say this one, and I'm just going to open this up. Now, once I open this up, you guys can see I have the ability to use this as my starting frame. I can even click on over here to edit the image because Midjourney does have its own native editor but I'm just going to choose this as the starting frame. From there, you can proceed with animating your image however you like. So starting off, I'm just going to put in my prompt, the woman moves the eyeshadow palette. And after that, I am just going to proceed. And I'm not going to provide it with too many details, but instead I'm going to click on the right where it shows our settings and we have fast and then relax. After that, we also have mode if we want standard as well as motion. So within mode, we are able to choose uh, the default aesthetic of some mid-journey models using it can help you create more realistic versions. However, with the raw version, it can help you creating more. The raw mode replaces it with photorealism, whereas the standard keeps the mid-journey vibe, the mid-journey aesthetic. I'm going to go with the raw and I'm going to choose high motion. And once done, I'm just going to click on submit. Now, it's going to take a couple of seconds for our video to be created. And on the right, you will see the second duration. Now, Midjourney creates five second clips, so you cannot create a video or a, a clip that is longer than five seconds. However, don't worry if you're looking to create longer clips or longer videos, you do have the ability to extend upon any video. So you can extend videos, you can expand them, and you guys can see currently it is being created and it's already 51% complete. Now this is uh, the fast variation. This is not their standard or this is not their relaxed version. The relaxed mode provides unlimited image generation, but we will be discussing, you know, different tier plans and different types of executions that you can do. And you guys can see even within the previews of all four of these videos, they all look pretty different. You guys can see that the facial expressions, the way that the face is moving, it's all relatively different. Although it's very similar, they are still able to provide us with two very different types of videos, which I find it to be pretty interesting when it comes to my journey and how it creates these videos. So starting off, this is the first clip that it has created. Now you guys will see it's glitching when it comes to the hand and the way that the eyeshadow palette moves. Now this is the second video and this one is pretty accurate. Let's see if the hand glitches. The hand looks perfectly fine. The entire video within this one is really nice. There are no, you know, foreseeable glitches initially and it looks pretty decent. Now next up is this one and this is our third variation. Now this has a lot of movement. It looks pretty fine. This looks a bit, you know, crazy, but at the same time, I did choose high motion, so it has created a lot of motion. And now this is our final video. And this is really nice as well. This is actually very beautiful and very smooth. 
Now, once you have created your video on the right, you have creation actions, where you can click on more to rerun the same script again. You can also click on enhance to return a draft job at full quality. You also have editor where specific parts of the image with or without a prompt change can be altered. Then you have the use. So if you want to use it as a start frame or a prompt, then after that, you have your video extension tools, including auto extension with low motion or high motion. When you choose auto extension, you don't have to provide a script on what you want happening next. Instead, it is automatically going to create whatever is going to happen next within your video. You don't have to, you know, come up with this new idea or a different idea. Instead, it is created for you automatically which I find to be pretty helpful, especially if you're, you know, creating some content. Then below that, you also have manual. Now, this is really great for people who want more control over their videos. So within the manual mode of extending your video, you have low motion, high motion, and then you have the ability to basically add a new prompt to define what should happen next in your video. So maybe the camera should pan out and show the vanity, so on and so forth. So if I want, I can click on low motion. And then after that, I can proceed with just basically providing the rest of my prompt, what, what should be happening in the next clip. So then it's going to take my five seconds and then combine them with five more seconds. So then I would have a 10 second clip of pretty much the same thing. And this is how you can create um, some really nice videos with Midjourney and convert your images into videos. This can be especially helpful when you have stagnant images for products and you want to bring out a little bit of a flair. You guys can see that a video like this is going to cost me a lot of money to, you know, get recreated by the original artist that might have shot my product video. So having these tools to alter and convert any still static into a really beautiful video is going to give you the opportunity to save money in a lot of different cases because shooting content can become very expensive and the ability to just customize your content whenever you like, however you like, is pretty helpful and pretty amazing as well. Now, moving forward, all of this within Midjourney does come at a price. So Midjourney's pricing starts at $10 for their basic plan. And this gives you 3.3 hours of GPU time or fast generation time. And there's no relaxed GPU time. The basic plan is not something I recommend because I just don't find it to be worth the price. However, the standard plan at $30 is pretty amazing. It gives you 15 hours of fast GPU time, but unlimited images that you can create with relaxed GPU. This basically means that you wait in a queue for your images to be created. However, you can create as many as you want. So it's not too fast, but it still is able to do the job very nicely and pretty efficiently, if you ask me. So I definitely do think that Midjourney's plans are, you know, best opted for either for the standard or the pro plan, because again, the pro plan also does have a unlimited image and video option in the relaxed GPU time, which is something that I do personally think is pretty worth the while when it comes to the price. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you guys did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.